What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self, and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... Of course, Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. I'll gather these clothes up and head to the laundry room in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's going to have to pull it together for this baby. Laundry. Okay. Dirty clothes. Box. Box. I still haven't had the time to unpack it yet. Not sure when I will. Pants. Wardrobe. This was my grandma's wardrobe and one of the few things I could bring with me here. There's not much in it, unfortunately. Box desk filled with pencils and half-written research papers. Nice. More dirty clothes. Is this a bathroom? Yes. I'm honestly too mad to talk to Liam right now. Let him get over his hangover by himself. Okay. Alright, I think that's all. Dirty laundry, time to go to the basement. Okay. I guess I'll leave. Right. I mean left. Newspaper. The headline rings, reads, Womb Ripper Strikes Again. In the early hours of the 30th, authorities were called when a passerby found a ter terribly mangled corpse haphazardly tossed on the nearby grounds. Sources indicated that the woman was indeed pregnant, and just like pre previous victims, the fetus was cut out and its assumed to be taken by the assailant. This is now the fourth victims in as many weeks, and authorities are struggling to come up with leads in one of the most gruesome crime sprees in the city has ever endured. A murderer who kills pregnant women. And I'm a pregnant woman. Oh no. Anyway, I think I'm going to the basement, I think. What a beautiful basement. I feel right at home. Out of war. What? Out of order. What am I going to do now? I should probably get back upstairs and figure something out. I need to wash my clothes before I drive them. Huh. I think I heard something com coming from the closet. This one? <laughs> Hello, Hobo Joe. God damn girl, you scared the bejesus out of me! I scared you? You scared me! What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. Yeah, I can. What's up? Uh, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. I believe you. Just next time, maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. I will. Thanks, kid. Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's, uh, broken. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. Oh. Thank you, Hobo Joe. Let's 
time to leave. Is this fire extinguisher? I'm surprised they take any safety precautions in this deep trap. Dead trap. Not deep. Neighbor? Stand. What's uh, up, sir? Oh, you know, trying to balance life, school, and job hunting. It's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. When he isn't drunk, yeah. Look, you'll tell me if it gets bad, yeah? I know it ain't easy to talk about, and you don't have to tell me nothing. Just promise me you'll tell me if you need help. My sister used to be in a bad situation too, and there's places you can go. I appreciate that, Stan. I really do. Yeah, sure. You doing some laundry at this time of night? I'm trying to. Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. Ain't that some shit. Yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like crap. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. I have to say, though, it's a hell of a time to be out so late, especially with that maniac roaming around. I'm a big girl, Stan. Do you know the address? Sure, sure. Let me write it down for you. Just promise me you'll take care, I. Right? Better go grab my purse before I head to the laundry mat. Okay, Stan. Thank you. Is that my purse? Pick a purse. All right. Hopefully, I didn't miss the last miss the last bus. But, uh, how are you going to get back? Hurry and you might be able to catch the next bus. Thanks again, Stan. Okay. Time to leave. <laughs> I... Imagine that it's over here. Yeah, enter lobby. Well, void can agree. Chair, an old left chair, suitcase, an old suitcase. I really shouldn't get in the middle of a gang drop, drop off. That can be an adventure for another night. Uh, yes, this feels like home. L.A. Hi there. Are you okay? Can I get you anything? It's gone. They, they, they took it. Did someone steal something from you? They took it. The people in the walls. They, they took it from me. Oh God, she's here now! I should probably leave him alone, poor guy. Schizophrenic, maybe. How convenient. An alleyway. Hello? Man. Got any change? Sure, I have a couple dollars. Better than nothing, thanks, kid. I haven't seen you around here before. I moved in not too long ago. I'm usually studying or at my classes, so that's probably why. Oh, a college girl, huh? What are you studying? I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. Nice! That's what I got my bachelor's in. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. If not, my sleeping bag has room for two! 
Yeah, that's a good idea. Tell this homeless person your life's goals and story. But that's the harsh truth. I think. Enter bus. Hello. Where are you heading at this hour, if you don't mind me asking? The laundromat on the outside of town. Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. You won't even have to pay cash if you know what I mean. How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser? Whatever, bitch. Sit the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again. Okay. I guess I'll sit. I'd rather not sit in whatever that is splattered on the seat. So I need to find something. A seat that isn't splattered, I guess. This is dirty for you. Another dirty seat? What is this? Look at Polaroid. Has to be fake. Some people have a sick sense. Sick sense of humor. Dirty seat. Seat. Dirty. I think it. Oh, this one isn't dirty. Okay. What a beautiful night. I. I guess. This is as real as it gets. sit beside you there's plenty of other seats so I don't see why you would need to do that may I may I sit beside you are you deaf do I need to get the driver to throw you off you're going to die tonight what you're going to die tonight I've seen it Tonight is your last night on Earth. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. How did you... You will be found, just like all the others. Ripped open, your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Oh yes, of that I am certain. Please, just stop talking. May I sit beside you? All right, miss. This is your stop. May I sit beside you? Torture Star Video Percent. Begin by Black Guy, Priest, Jordan King, and Henry Hoare. Blood Walk. And that's the end of the introductories. There is still more, but I think I'll leave it for later.